Uh, today we're going to paint up a baby bass. We've got some of the color coat here. It's a water-based soft plastic paint. I've got some black in my palette here. And I'm going to put just enough on this brush so I can make some little hash marks on the bass here. The baby bass really vary. They have all kinds of black patterns on them. And so I just kind of make some random stuff here. It's hard to find any two bass that look just alike, so. This paint is really easy to work with and doesn't have any odor to it, so you don't have to worry about painting outside. Paint in the house. Okay, we've got some black marks here. That ought to work okay. And I'm going to use an airbrush next to put a, bring, put a green back on this. So I've got an airbrush set up here. And I'm going to just put a, start putting a light coat of green on it. I like to just layer it on there really thin to start with. And, And the green's transparent, so it just kind of, it still shows you the black that we just painted below it. So I try to feather down the sides and I, Kind of put a dark line down the back of it. That gives us a nice little look there. The next thing I'm going to do is add some eyes to it. And we've got some little soft plastic eyes here. Since that paint is still wet, we can just use it as a glue to attach these eyes. And these eyes are they're soft PVC eyes, they're flexible. We just stick them right there in that slot there. And I'm gonna speed up the drying of this so we can dip a, dip this bait in the hot plastic. So I'm gonna just use a regular blow dryer. Okay, yes. Okay. I'm going to take a hook. I've got to have something to attach this with so I can dip it in the plastic. So we just use a hook. Normally I let this dry a little bit longer, but it's still dry enough to dip in this plastic. And this is a product we call Clearasol. And it's a plastisol specially made to put a coating on this outside. And I'm going to just dip it in here, and you see how it looks now. It's shiny, but it doesn't have a really 3D look. But once we dip it in here, we pull this out. It gives us a really nice 3D effect. Okay. And this will be cooled down in just a few minutes here. And it's almost dry to touch now. But if you look at that nice depth you get there. And once it's cooled down, we'll just snip this little end off of it. I've got some other baits here we've already painted. This is a fire tiger. This is one we just painted. And this is the same bait we painted and add the clear coat to it. So you can see the really 3D effect it gives it. Makes a big difference. And they're ready to fish.